I think the $64,000 question is, how big of an impact did our characters have on events when they were moving through time? I mean, the central question is, you know, can you change the future? We wanted to flirt with the idea of, of the erase button, of the do-over. It doesn't matter what we do. is moving through time. Yeah, either the island is or we are. What? This season started off crazy. Just when you thought you were getting used to the flash forward or flash back, um, let's add some time travel in there to spice things up. Time travel? How stupid does that guy think we are? The audience is really dialed into kind of what the history of the island is. They wanted to know, you know, how long have the others been here? You know, what's up with the statue? We'd love to see more of Danielle Rousseau. So we're not doing this because we want to do time travel. We're doing it because this is a way to give the audience the answers they've been waiting for. Let me get this straight. All this already happened. Yes. Let's see, what the heck is going on? I have to like, keep looking at my notes because this is like the jumping back and forth. I get lost. How they're moving and where they're moving to and what, how, what age they are in that time frame. But they were in this time frame here also. So what does that mean? I keep saying it's a three-dimensional chess game with all the cast and characters. Uh, we're, we're all going through this. I think a lot of us get lost on Lost. Say that again? If you didn't really understand time travel, well, Sawyer had his shirt off, so... Right. You know, we tried to cover our bases. Rolling. Rolling. And action. On the production level, they were like, done. We can do right. it. You know, how extensive is it going to be? And we're like, it's, we're going all out. Like, yeah. it's going to be the time travel show for at least six solid episodes. Time traveling is difficult. It's an effort across the board, every department. Props, vehicles, it involved a lot of research. I'm examining it. This tower and, and H-bomb were actually derived from the Manhattan Project. It's a credit to the production team and doing their homework and their research. Jughead's an actual name of an actual bomb that was technically never detonated. Got it. These are all authentic. Korean War era, U.S. Army tents. And whoosh, the, uh, the whole encampment is gone right before your very eyes. Logistic challenges and scheduling challenges to make things appear and disappear have been fun. And roll sound, please. Rolling! Rolling! We showed Dharmaville in 77, clean and sparkly and pretty and flowers. And then we showed these survivors arriving in 2007. So then it had to be abandoned and dilapidated. So we've aged all the buildings down, boarded up the windows, basically taken what we dressed inside and trashed the place. So it is a constant Clean up, dilapidate. Clean up, dilapidate. Every time the sky lights up, we move through time. We also wanted the time traveling to have physical effects on the characters. It's like a really bad jet lag. We mainly dealt with it in terms of how they would react to the blinding white light, the ear-piercing sounds. OK, and you can look up. It's up in the sky. Looking around, where are the f <laughs> The director will be forced to say things like, it's loud, it's painful, it hurts, it really hurts. It's splitting your brain. Hurt. Oh. Hurt. Ah. And we're back in Dane, it really hurts. Ah. We're all sort of looking at each other going, what are you going to do? I don't know, what are you going to do? So we're all like, OK. Ah. Ah. 
And it was like, no, I've got arms up. You do something else. I just did arms up. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Maybe just a little. In the end, uh, I think we all ended up one time on the ground, rolling all over each other, laughing uncontrollably because we felt so uh, felt so stupid doing it. But when we saw it, it looks amazing. Lock it up, please. Here we go. And let's roll. Rolling, rolling. That's speed. As we travel through the various time zones, looks have to be adjusted. Good mark. 32 Apple One. Camera set. In some cases, we have to, you know, cast younger versions uh, of characters as we did in the case of Widmore. Widmore has been to do with the island for 30 or 40 years, so that's fascinating. And as we've discovered, they've used two other actors to play younger Widmore with a lot of hair, by the way. Thicker, fuller, more beautiful, luxurious hair. Really, with me, it's a, it's a little more hair. And uh, I try to smile less so that fewer of the wrinkles show. And I put a bounce in my walk. 